you know that one scene in that movie that goes like this? Six dollars. It's like a dollar an hour. That That's exactly how I'm feeling about Galaxy Con San Jose. last minute to prep for a con but uh this time my printer broke i talked about this on my community tab if you're part of the community tab take a look i post art on there and stuff but yeah printer broke so i had to like get a new one i posted a poll on instagram everybody said get the eco tank i went and got the eco tank i'm having the worst time with this eco tank it's like eating my paper jamming my sticker paper is like ruined i ruined like 50 sheets of sticker paper it doesn't take my matte cardstock paper it's, it's just a problem and i don't know if you guys are having this problem and it's like printing super dark and then or it's printing like super pixelated like weird i don't know why it does this that's what's happening with that and you'll see that in the video i'm going to show you guys right now the little artist vlog thingy but i didn't have too much to do for this show because i didn't have enough because i didn't have like a lot of prints i was going to take i was just short on stickers sticker sheets and then a couple prints i wanted to reprint because i only took 10 to my last show so my plan was thursday i was like okay i just need like one day so i'm gonna take friday all day friday prep for the show but then i double checked last minute on thursday that the, the times of the show and it turns out the show was friday saturday sunday i didn't realize that because on their instagram it just says this day that day and i just assumed it was two days because the dates even though it has like the little dash and i'm just i wasn't paying attention i guess so i was like damn it it's thursday tomorrow's the show and i have nothing ready so i just stood up all night prepping and i worked a stupid printer and then my other stupid printer and everything just didn't nothing happened so i wasn't able to make any prints or nothing the show the venue i love the san jose convention center i love the area the venue the lineup uh the artists that they had it was all dope but i went around talking to a bunch of artists introducing myself letting them know that i was doing like a vlog and i was just asking them like hey how did you do honestly if you you don't got to tell me if you don't want to and friday and saturday i did that and then sunday i only asked a couple people it was like 50 50 some people said they didn't make table some people were just like oh, i'm going crazy i'm making so much money they didn't say it like that though but they insinuated they made a lot of money i didn't make a lot of money but i will talk about that at the end how much i made and you're gonna love it but besides that i met tons of artists tons of people came up to my well not tons like 10 people came up to my table said they watch the youtube they love it they love my perspective on everything and i had some people come over saying they're loving the pokemon drawing over on instagram which is crazy somebody came up to me like oh yeah i commented this and you drew it and i was like what and then i handed out my portfolio to a bunch of industry artists got tons of feedback and i talk about it all the time my main reason for doing cons is a uh, feedback meeting artists learning things that's first money second i need the money to do this i want the money to do this to keep doing this but meeting the people getting the feedback insights that's number one for me. And I got tons of feedback. I met Steven Silver again and Humberto Ramos. You guys want to talk about him all the time. He's like my inspiration for conventions and for drawing and comic books. I got to meet him. I met him like three times, but we never really like talked. This time we got to actually talk and he's like sick. I don't want to yap too much in the intro. So watch this little set up vlog thingy and I'll pop in and out with voiceovers every now and then because I was trying my hardest to record audio at the convention and it was so loud so and I don't have a mic so I'm waiting for that DJI mic if uh, DJI is watching you want to send me a mic I'm here I'm ready anyways peace out watch the vlog thank you bye printer broke cons in two days and I need a new printer so we're finally getting the eco tank happy Monday guys Let's see if this thing works. Boom, we got it. Test prints and this is the first one. First test print, second test print. That's ugly. Third test print didn't even finish. 
And then here's the last test print, which I think came out the best. Uh, I'm using matte paper, so maybe I should try glossy. I think I might. I think I might have to get some glossy paper, but this one looks the best color-wise compared to the other first one. This one's more blue. This one almost looks like how it does on the computer, but it just looks matte. Damn it. I'm in a predicament. Okay, here's glossy paper attempt one. Glossy paper attempt two. I feel like two's better, but it still doesn't look right. This is complicated and I'm getting mad. I got two days left. Ugh. It's been about six hours I've been playing with this thing. Um, I ruined multiple sheets of sticker paper and it takes forever to print and I have to keep resetting it. My paper keeps getting jammed and I hate it so far. Everybody recommended me this. I posted on Instagram, which printer should I get? And I got like 40 messages saying I should get this printer. Look at it coming out. Yeah, I don't know, man. Is it me? Is it just me? Do I just break printers, I guess? I All right, it's day two of uh, using this printer. I'd use it for like eight hours or straight. Could not figure it out. Trying day two. Blacks are not black. They look brown for some reason. And also I figured out a hack for getting the, so the paper would stop jamming. Basically every time I used the paper, it would jam. So what I was doing is putting a piece of tape on the bottom and it feeds through now, but now I just need to figure out why the black lines look brown. I don't understand and it keeps doing that. Maybe because it's matte paper, maybe I should try, maybe I should try different settings, I don't know. This is pissing me off though, man. Okay, let me jump in here real quick with a little bit of voiceover. Some people might be thinking like you're taking a bunch of stickers to a convention. Why don't you just outsource them, manufacture them? There's just something about making stickers, making art prints, doing it all yourself. Like if I had shirts, I would print them myself. It's just, it feels better. It feels more satisfying knowing that you made this. People appreciate that you made it and they want it still, even though I just, it's probably just me. It's probably stupid. I should probably manufacture them, but I just appreciate making things like genuinely. I appreciate making these and I love buying stuff in Art Sally when it's handmade. Prints are like a different concept, but when somebody makes something like stickers and stuff like that, I love it. I appreciate it. So, hope you guys appreciate my thought process on this. In the middle of my sticker grind, second time this happened. But look how many stickers I made. It's taking me a long time because this printer sucks, honestly. It takes forever to print, it takes like five minutes to print one sheet. And I have to put tape on the back of every single sheet. And it's a hassle. And now my computer blue screen. I'm sad. Made it to San Jose. Colin is not ready for it. I'm not ready at all. Let's see how it goes. Okay, I was able to fit my whole display into one suitcase. That's all I gotta carry is one suitcase and my water. Uh, let's let's do this. Let's do it. Okay, I made it. I'm just looking for the entrance now, and I'm pushing down on my one suitcase. I'm really uh, excited about this one suitcase thing. I carry everything in one suitcase. I don't have a lot of stuff though, so uh, let's see if we can find the entrance to this place. Okay, I thought this part was kind of weird. I just walked in. Nobody stopped me. Nobody searched my badges. Nobody asked me any questions. If I would have known where I was supposed to go, I probably could have just went there and not even did anything. But I asked somebody where did artists go, and they just said, oh, upstairs, elevator or something. I was like, oh, thanks. No questions after that. And I just walked in, and then, uh, but right next to where my table was is where you're supposed to pick up your badges. So I could have just walked in, and nobody would have said nothing. Is this a good thing or just a bad thing? I don't know. You let me know in the comments. This is the second time this has happened to me. Hello. Hi. Where do we go for artists? Artists, upstairs. Upstairs, I'll take it. right around the bend. Okay, thank you. No problem. Taking the elevator. I have a fear of elevators. I was trapped in the elevator for two hours when I was a little kid. I hate elevators. But I don't know where I'm supposed to go or how I'm supposed to register. Hmm, I'm assuming it's this big building, this big room here. Okay. I don't know where to register at. Hmm. It's pretty big. 
trying to walk around. Anybody cool? Any me designs. <laughs> Hello, we should check in. It's for base art. It was what art? Based B A E S D. Garlic. Yeah, I think that's what. Base world. Yeah, base world. Because the the solid color. Here's a quick little yap session. My setup, I hate these stupid cube things. Every show I do, they break more and more and more. I've used them like seven, eight times now. And they're on their last limbs already, so they're not durable. Or I'm just like manhandling them or something. But I've been blueprinting, brainstorming, designing a new setup, but my mind can't comprehend how to put it together in real life. On paper, on digital, I could do it, but in real life, it's just not, it's not clicking. Like, what material do I use? I need to be able to carry in a suitcase, because I'm not going to sit here and carry like 20 suitcases like everybody else i can't do it i just need one suitcase but anyways setup came out okay but uh you guys let me know what you think about the setup it's it's cool so empty damn it hmm. Let me yep your damn ear off real quick. This guy, do you know who this guy is? I saw him and I was like, I feel like I was following him. I wasn't trying to follow him. I saw him in a distance like, hey, yo, Francisco Herrera. Didn't really chase him down. I started talking to somebody else and he like walked off. And then I, anyways, I'm, I'm rambling. Anyway, this guy and Humberto Ramos, I talk about them all the time. These are the guys. I met them in 2012, 2013. And when I met them, I decided I want to do Artist Alley. I never did it though. And when I met him in 2013, I was like, oh, next year, I'm going to be an artist in Artist Alley. I wasn't even drawing at the time. But I wanted to do it because they were doing it. They made it look hella fun. I love them. They're cool. They're hell the coolest people in the artist industry I've met. They're, I don't know. They're just sick. Anyways, I didn't do it. I didn't follow that dream. Like I said, I was. I lied to myself. I bought a sketchbook. I never drew in it. And then fast forward like six, seven years later, I finally got an iPad and I started drawing. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to do Artist Alley now. And I did it. And this is one of the dudes who he doesn't even know it. I told him at the show, I was like, bro, you, you when I met you, you, your art style, your art, the characters you make, they inspired me to draw and it inspired me to do Artist Alley. You and Humberto Ramos. Them two dudes, man. I used to be a comic book, straight comic book junkie and it was these two guys. I was always looking at their art. I wanted my house filled with their art. Anyways, I'm rambling. Bye. Convention's hella slow. I'm walking around. You just probably can't even hear me. I left my table so I can go see some stuff. There's photo ops over here, I guess. I'm trying to see. I'm just wandering around. Kyle Higgins is here. It's pretty dope. Six o'clock, walking around. Six o'clock. This is a crowd at six o'clock on a Friday. Mm. Pretty cool, it's pretty cool. Oh, that FLCO. It's pretty clean. It's like kind of dead, honestly. Day one is over. I don't know how to get out of here. <laughs> 8 o'clock. Sure, when's it 8 o'clock? I feel like that's too long. That's way too long, man. 8 o'clock is way too long. Alright, it's day two. Uh, it's 9 o'clock. The convention starts at 10. It's 10 to 8 o'clock at night. This is too long. This, this con is three days and it's like 10 hour day this is crazy i feel like it's too much for the first con i feel like it should have been two days 
I wouldn't mind the ten hour days. It was only two days, but Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I only made a hundred bucks yesterday, so I made like one fifteen, but parking was fifteen. Also, I put like thirty in gas. But, but yeah, three days, ten hours. I, I don't know. We'll see. To I don't, and I'm like short on prints. I don't have too many prints to sell because I sold out of most of them at Stockton Con, and I didn't re. I didn't get any prints made, but but I have a lot of stickers, so we're gonna see. Let's see what happens today. I right, just see if I can do a fit shape. Fit shape with the water. If anybody cared, it's about one o'clock on Saturday, so I decided to take a walk around because our aisle, you see how our lane looks? It, it was like that for a long time. So I was like, I wonder what the other side of Artist Alley looks like. So I started to walk out of my aisle, and this is a pathway to the other side of Artist Alley. It's like, to me, it looks like packed shoulder to shoulder, and I was just like, and I was already getting ready to talk smack and hate and, and just be mad and frustrated on this YouTube video. But then I talked to another artist in another farther lane. Put it in perspective, he's like, yeah, like, I think it's like whatever table you're at, you're gonna like perceive it as your aisle is not getting as much people. Because he said he thought my aisle or like my area had like way more people. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe I was just hating and I came down the lane at the perfect time to where there was that many people, but in my lane there wasn't. But I was just like laser focused on my aisle for a long time and it was just like nobody for a minute. And our lane was like right before the celebrity, so I felt like everyone was just going to the celebrities and just skipping over our aisle. So I don't know, it could be. If you were in Artist Alley and you were in lane C, let me know how you did, how it was. Cause I talked to a few people in my lane and, and I didn't get no good answers or anything. So so let me know your guys' thoughts. Am I just overthinking it? All right, so this is the end of day two. Like, there's like an hour or two left, and I was drawing for most of the time. I was trying to record some like behind the scenes stuff, but like nothing was happening. I think I got behind my booth and showed a little bit of the back side of the table and all that, but I was literally just drawing. I was taking notes on my phone every time I thought of something, and then at like two o'clock, I was like, oh, I'm just sitting here drawing, nothing's happening, lanes are empty, and then at four, I was like, okay, still sitting here drawing nothing's really happening ipad's about to die and then around like five ish it got like a little bit picked up a little bit and i sold out of some prints but i only bought five of each print because it was what i had left over from stockton con so those sold out which was crazy and then after they sold out it was the weirdest thing then people started coming up wanting to buy prints right don't have no more of those and i'm like nah i just sold out which sucked i think it's because people noticed that they were saying that i said sold out and they just wanted to like see if i had any more it's like more enticing but i did sell out of sticker sheets which I only had five of each sticker sheet, but those are gone. I don't know if I'm gonna bring those back. I might keep those gone forever and just make some new ones, but I'm super happy that my like traditional art prints sold out. Those are the ones I'm like proud of because I did those in my sketchbook, made them into prints, everybody loves them, and they're doing better than all my other prints, well, my old prints, but Saturday was meh. I think Friday was better. There was less hours in Friday, but I feel like there was more transactions in Friday. I don't think I 
I've showed this before, but all my prints fit in this one little thing. It's all I bring. And then my stickers. It's all I bring. Six o'clock, and this side of Artist Alley is booming. It is booming. Wait, leaving the show. Day two done. I'm walking out. I'm walking out. You're out. Good morning gamers, day three. I had to bring in some of my old prints from 2018 because I ran out of prints yesterday, which is dope, but I only brought like five of each print because I had low expectations for the show. I was not planning on making any sales. I made table back yesterday, that's it. I just need to make like a hundred bucks to cover gas and parking is like $45. So if I can make back gas and parking, 150 bucks, I'll break even. I won't be happy, but I'll be okay with that, hopefully. Um. I'll keep you guys updated. I'm trying to talk during the show, but it's so loud. I was recording myself at my table and I could not hear the audio back because it's so loud, but I'll probably do a voiceover for that stuff. But yeah, this show's really, uh, I love the show. It's it's nostalgic for me because I my first convention I ever came to was at this convention center. And a lot of the artists that I met that inspired me to do Artist Alley are here. So I'm gonna bring them, hopefully I can bring them a print. I already gave one of them my portfolio. I wanna give them a print and maybe get a picture and then I'll put a side by side of when I first met him in like 2012, 2013 and then now and see how much I've grown. But I hope you guys enjoy this con. Uh, here's some B-roll. Right. I just have to say I hella love this van. I hella want one of these like badly and you could just live in it. But uh, yeah, parking's 15. I'm about to pay that really quick. Let's see if you get my view. Day three, my water, my water. It was packed in here yesterday at nine. It's nine o'clock right now. Nobody's here yet. Bad sign. Let's see how it looks on the corner. Yesterday, when I came at nine, this was hella packed. Like there was a straight line. And now there's nobody. It is Sunday though. I guess we'll see. So I'm removing some prints that I sold out of and I'm putting up the old prints, but I got a lot of feedback on these magazine prints I did. I, I, my 80s magazines were my inspiration for these and I didn't think anybody would get it, but I got a couple people saying I love the 80s inspiration. That's pretty dope. And uh, let me know what you guys think because I like them. But I asked for some feedback from some people and they said there's too many words to read and I'm just like, you don't really got to focus on the word. I just imagine them in a frame. I think they'd be in a frame. So let me know what you think about the magazine style prints. All right, here's the setup. I added an old print. Another print, 2018, and both of these are from 2018. But I have a few more of these, four of those, I believe, and only four of those. But then I got this one, pretty cool. I like that one. <laughs> these are so dope. Yeah. All the Johnny Bravo one. <laughs> Seven bucks. I think I'm gonna get one. Look at that one. I got you in my B-roll. I got you in my B-roll. Hey, end of the show. I'm drawing again. Uh, I actually chatted with more artists this time. When I go to artist alleys, I try to chat with people. I usually only chat with like one or two, but. This one, I went to like every lane and tried to like introduce myself to everybody. I brought like a little stack of portfolios and I was just giving those out as my business cards and saying like, hey, I do the YouTube. You want to check out the portfolio? I'm just like trying to get feedback from everybody and see what their thoughts are on the show. And everybody I met was super nice. So I'm glad for that. My neighbors were super nice. This was like the first show where I actually like try to just like talk to everybody. Because usually like at WonderCon, I was just behind my table all the time. I talked to like my neighbors. That's it. And in StocktonCon, I really didn't leave my table either. So I just talked to my neighbors there. But this one, I don't know if it's because it was slow. I just literally walked around a lot. I just talked to so many people. And then I met another artist and we were talking 
talking for like 30 minutes. They they do background design and I believe they direct. They gave me uh, like tons of tips, like the most feedback anybody's ever given me at a show. And they told me what I should focus on, what I shouldn't focus on. And then, and then they gave me tips on the portfolio. And we were just talking forever. And it was like a super cool interaction. But I'll show the art I got from them at the end. Five. End of the show. Walking around, checking everything out. See how everyone's doing. Can you hear me? I see how it looks. I'm gonna grab a sticker sheet from somebody. Some art. I wanna buy some art. I have some an artist I wanna get some art from. Let's find her. And then finally, the highlight of my show, at least. Yo, first. I approve. Cheese. I might sound like a fanboy, but these two dudes and Akira Toriyama are the reasons why I draw it. I say it all the time. You can go look at all my old videos when anybody asks me inspiration. Who's your inspiration? I say Francisco Herrera, Humberto Ramos, Toriyama. But look at this picture of us from 2013. This is before I was like drawing, okay? And I met these dudes and I was like, damn, the art is so sick. I want to start drawing. You guys inspired me. I told them both this. I was like, bro, you guys inspired me to draw. It's weird. They probably feel like I was weird. They probably hear it all the time. They probably don't even care. But I told them, I was like, you inspired me to draw. You inspired me to do cons. Now I'm doing Artist Alley. Hey, what the <laughs> look at this picture. This was 2013. This was like 11 years ago. Look how. And I was like, I was, I feel like I was rounder there. I was a little bit more rounder. I, That's a huge bitch. I showed it to them and I was like, yeah, we were super young. And they're like, we look like babies. I was like, you guys look hella young. Not even gonna lie. But yeah, these dudes are the reason why I love Artist Alley. It's the reasons why I love art. The reasons why I wanted to be a comic book artist, but now I'm like more of a cartoonist, I would say. These guys and guys like them that inspire me are reasons why I love going to cons because I like talking to them. That's why I always say it's like money second, but I love to make money because it helps me go to these shows. I need the money to go to these shows, so the money is like a, you have to have the money. But if I break even, it sucks, but it's still cool because I get to meet cool people like these dudes and Steven Silver and people like Susan who just like genuinely want to help and give me like so much feedback and we were just talking forever. He was super cool. But uh, yeah, this is the end of the video. I made about $520, I want to say. I, I forgot the exact number. I have it written down somewhere, but I don't, I don't feel like looking. But table was about 420 It came out to be. Gas was 60 bucks, maybe 80 I think 60 Parking was 45 So that's already like $520, $525. So technically, I didn't profit. But if I'm just counting table, I made about 90 bucks or something like that, which comes out to, it comes out to me making about like $5 an hour, basically, or $3 an hour is what I made for three days. And I could be butthurt because I didn't make my money back, but a lot of it is my fault because I didn't have a lot of prints for the show. I sold a lot of stickers. Stickers are small price tags, so you have to sell a lot to make a lot. I think if I would've brought more prints, I would've done better. I think if my setup was better, I would've done better. A lot of people around me, it looked like they were doing good. Talked to a lot of people, they said they weren't doing good. A lot of people said they were doing good. I like the atmosphere of the show. Galaxy Con is sick. There's so many like celebrities and stuff like that just walking around. I like the show. I would like to give it one more try. I don't know if I'm gonna do it next year. I would like to just because it gives me, just because it feels like WonderCon. And me, I feel like every time I go to a show and I meet people, I'm benefiting, I'm getting better. I'm earning my money back through knowledge books i'm in my garage you guys remember that ad right i'm rambling again let me end the video i didn't profit uh i profited in the knowledge shout out to everybody i met at the show everybody who came up and said they watched youtube everybody who came up and said they watched instagram videos thank you to everyone who came to the table thank you to umberto ramos for talking to me thank you for francisco Herrera talking to me steven silver uh get him b-roll thank you for the insights appreciate susan uh my neighbors were cool my neighbors from across from me were cool. It was a fun show, and uh, I can't wait for my next con. I mean, I kind of can't wait, but shout out to my patrons. Peace out. Have a good one. Thank you for watching. Sorry for the long video. I'll see you next week, and I hope this video was informative. I hope you guys got my mindset. I hope you guys learned how I think. It's the friends you made along the way. But let me stop myself before I start rambling again. All right, peace out. Bye. The video's over. Bye-bye.